Hey guys, Botting25 here with another World of Warships replay this time. A ship that's probably been one of the contro most controversial ones of the year. Not the most, that would have to be... Where is it? Oh, I guess it's on the enemy team. Could have sworn that was on the enemy team. That could have been an earlier battle though. Seriously? Yeah, that ship. Yeah, the Puerto Rico, that was probably the most controversial. But this is a controversial ship nonetheless, with Russian bias and all that. Ironically enough, it was the Puerto Rico grind that led to me getting enough um, coal to end up buying her. Basically, yeah, she is... She's a very powerful... Well, very powerful in the right hands. She's got 16 rapid-firing... I have no idea what the gun calibre is, I think 130 centimetres or something like that. No, 130 millimetres, Jesus. It's got 4 in 1 turn, which does mean that a fun turn knocks out. That does knock out a substantial bit of her firepower. Let's see that it's got wrapped for us. She's got pretty strong AA as well, but the mouse can be quite fragile. Leaving you with only the main armament as such. So as you can see, since she's a light cruiser, she has fuck all armor. So you have to be very careful in sailing her to put this with something if you're too close to the enemy. Sail like to battleships especially, sail broadside on because things will just go right through you. Instead of detonating inside you and doing the most damage. She doesn't have radar, which is Probably for the best, honestly. She does She does have a limited range, like I've got... I think I've got a module to increase the range, because I don't have captain skills. It seems like there's a minotaur there. Now, that worries me, because if I get spotted out in the open, I am fucked. There's multiple battleships, and there's that... I'm going to refer to it as a super cruiser. And I'm just looking around. I'm trying to figure out if there's anyone I can shoot at. Like, I know there's a Minotaur there. At the moment I'm trying to sail in there, use that island for cover, and then... Just lob shells over the island. This will be a defeat, by the way, just... Just to show, like, just because you're in a... In a small ask doesn't mean you will win. She can give you a fair bit of an advantage, but she does not count to you will win. It's easy. There are four ships. There were four ships aiming at me. Watch this. See, that's a substantial chunk of my health. And those weren't citadels. Those were just penetrations. And I've got detected again. And undetected. So I don't think anyone actually got shells off on me. Open fire on the Republique. Because I'm thinking, okay, I can definitely get to cover before he opens fire. You know, maybe not. Yep, that's another substantial chunk. That's 10k damage I've lost already. But that's fine. I'm in cover. But... Lamino decides... Oh yes, we can probably let some... Yeah, firing on the Ogni Void because that's the one thing I can fire on. I'm just gradually sneaking past the other side to try to see if there's anyone I can... Well, this is where I'm going to spend about 90% of the battle. I don't know where there's that one I put it all. Alright, so now this is going to be a bit of shuffling back and forth to get my guns on the targets. I, I, I don't know who that was aiming at. Like, with it remembering that I'm here and trying to shoot me? Because it couldn't have been aiming for the Yoshi, now they're six kilometers short. Now just watch this. So, well, as soon as I get to the fire. Don't worry, I'm not stupid enough to just straight up back out in front of these guys.
See, I'm lobbing shells over. Realize I've been detected and panic slightly. Yeah, I notice those shells coming in. Go. Oh. Shit. That's a lot of damage, but now I'm undetected, so that's fine. Keep firing very up. Although, just watch, because I... There are some weird things to start noticing at this point. It's like, okay, sure, I miss a fair few shots. But... You couldn't see! Those shells clearly just passing right through the superstructure. So I am extremely confused right now because I should have been landing hits there. As you can see now I'm landing hits. Like did Wargaming mess up something? Wouldn't surprise me I was saying that in Wargaming. But still it's like it's passing right through the superstructure. Ooh I'm getting defended. Hits. Just not managed to get out of there. I see that Minotaur is quite extensively trying to shell my last known position. It ain't gonna work. I'm going to peek out the other end and shoot from there. So you can see this is... This had to play small hands. There we go, it's bulking out here. See, so yeah, for the moment I'm just doing that. Because I've realised I can just put some shells onto his bow. Once again, it seems to just be passing through him, which is weird. So yeah, this is just switching targets or whatever I can fire. Shutters. But now at least we're landing hits. You can see this is where she can get a bit OP. As you can see, I will very quickly start stacking up damage. Partly from the fires, partly from the shells. You can see I've set two fires so far. So you can see, I s we went from about 5k damage up to almost 30k. And boom. <laughs> Assume to the Republic because, well, he's there and I can fire at him. See a 4 second reload, but that can be reduced with certain captain skills and stuff like that.
I mean, it's even here there still. There's still that issue of just superstructures. Must be back to the Otago. It looks like they sometimes pass through the islands as well, so I don't know if it's a case of... I don't know if it's a case of the shells hit the island but the animations go on. Which makes it look like the shells carried on. But in reality they've been stopped by the island. Yeah, no. Yeah, that would explain it, actually. Because, yeah, all those hit, but they look like they carried on. Which is weird. Hmm. Might be a... I'm oh, going to need to report to it. The bu might be a bug I will report to Wargaming. Yeah, that's the Puerto Rico. Yeah, I probably will report to Wargaming because this is a, a pretty serious issue. Switching to the Yoshino, or rather f focusing on with whatever I can. And there we go. Now we have shells that actually are going on target. There we go, so the attack on fire. And then landing hits again, so we're up to about almost 50k in damage. Let's put out the fire though. Oh, I've been located. Oh, well, that's not too big a deal. So that just means they're being put like, oh, look, there's an enemy ship here. I want to focus fire on the Oshino. She does have quite floaty shells, like a bit like a tier 10 Atlanta. Honestly, would be the best way to describe this. I think she has a higher DPM than even the Worcester and uh, Mino. Let's get back to Yoshino. Else. You can see that Minotaur. He is going to be the death of me. <laughs> to put it quite simply. Oh, that's it, but he. So that wasn't me that won the those heads. I'm like, okay, he's going. I'm coming out and laying smoke because I'm thinking, why though? Get in there, get a few sneaky armor piercing from outside zone. But now watch this. I didn't actually check this at the time, but I'm focused solely on the Minotaur for the moment. I'd, yeah, no, I do switch over to the Yoshino for a bit. 
think it was like, jumps up to almost 50k. I can't tell him here, but at this point it's like, yeah, we are probably going to lose this. Let's switch back to HE. And up some settings and fires and doing a bit more damage. Once we're at 50k now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh fuck. You knocked that? Okay, there's the minute or quick. Switch back to armor piercing. Boom. Seven citadels now in Salva. But I've been focused right I'm gone. Yeah, well, that was a battle in small hands, just to show she isn't completely overpowered. I'm back in 25. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll